All right, Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, Bahashem HaKadosh, and the bonus to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, and Bahashem is in the name of HaKadosh, is the Holy Spirit. And uh, also shout out to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the prophets. Going out to the highways and byways, make the body a little sacrifice for the sake of your Hashem and Shai. And shout out to the innumerable multitude, the men, women, and children that's listening in all true fans sincerely. Shout out All right, uh, let me start here in the book of Sirach, chapter 3, verse 29. It says, The heart of the prudent will understand a parable, and an attentive ear is the desire of a wise man. All right, see the heart of the prudent. All right, you know, prudent goes into having a. Uh, uh, it's, and the heart is really the uh, the mind it says so the heart of the prudent the mind of the really of the elect all right the prudent uh, let me just get the definition here uh, prudent uh, it says uh, with to be with knowledge uh, dil dil Del, Della Barrett, Della Barrett. All right, it says, uh, going down here, prudent, it says, careful and sensible, marked by sound judgment. All right, let me look at that word here, Della Barrett. It says, done with care, careful consideration. Della Barrett, done with care, careful consideration. All right, you know this is this is the mindset we gotta be in. All right, all right, being prudent. All right, going back to Sirach, Sirach or Ecclesiastes, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, chapter three, verse twenty-nine. It says, "The heart of the prudent will understand a parable." All right, so this is this is how the elect is going to understand a parable. All right, Scripture says, you know, uh, the faithful was formed uh, with the Habah shall. With Yahweh Bashim Yahushai in the womb. Alright, roughly paraphrasing. Alright, Jeremiah 1 and 5. Okay. It says, and an intensive ear is the desire of a wise man. Alright, you gotta be you gotta uh, be willing to hear. Alright. Alright, you gotta be willing to hear and receive. Okay. And um Alright, so with that scripture there, alright, you know the this this video is going to be going into uh, parables, all right, because the scriptures is broken down in parables, all right. Majority of the scriptures is broken down in parables. That's why it's such a mystery. It's such a mystery, all right, to understand the scriptures, all right, all right. Because once you understand the parables, all right, you know, like the scripture says, it's plain, all right. This is so, uh, Sirach chapter six, verse thirty-five. It says, be willing to hear. Uh, let me start up a little bit. Um, I started at verse 32. But it says, my son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. And if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. You see, that's how you know you got we got to be taught. All right. You know, you're not going to be understanding, you know, dark sayings, parables, you know, fresh out of this world. All right. And just, you know, without a teacher. All right, especially first coming out this world, all, right, all the the uh, the philosophies of Babylon. All right, you think you're gonna understand uh, the heavenly Father's language, man? All right, it says, "My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught." All right, so you gotta be willing to be taught. All right, it says, "And if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent." All right, we gotta apply apply our mind to Yahweh Bashem Shah's law, statutes, and commandments. All right, and, and then you, you'll be prudent. All right, verse 33, it says, If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bow if thou bow thy thine ear, thou shalt be wise. All right, we got to be willing to hear. All right, it's okay to be wrong, you know. As long as we, you know, as long as you, when, you, when, you're, when you're told that you're wrong, all right, and you're willing to give that attentive ear, in truth and sincerity, man. All right. 
then it's okay, man. All right? That's how you get understanding. All right? The scripture says, uh, rebuke a wise man, he will love thee. All right? It says, if thou love to, to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bind, if, if thou bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. Stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise. Be willing to hear every godly discourse and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. All right. You know, and uh, recently uh, a elder brother put out a video, you know, that, that this truth is not like riding a bike. All right. Why? Because, you know, you have to you have to stay consistent in this in this truth. All right. Because, you know, things 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 can slip your mind if you're not uh if you're not constantly going over, going over the things, all right, you got to be going over the things over and over and over and over, all right, because there's this is uh, everlasting waters, all right. So there's always something new, all right, always something, you know, that we can learn from, all right. And there's nothing wrong with reviewing, all right, you know, going back over the scriptures, going through the same scriptures, all right. There's nothing wrong with that. That's how you keep the mind fresh. Alright, because if you're not doing that and you're being idle with your time, alright, these dark sayings and parables will 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 escape you, man. Alright. Okay, uh verse 36. Um Well that was pretty much the point. Well, I'll read verse 36 again uh, as well. It says, And if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee be times unto him, and let thy foot were the steps of his door. Alright, so we gotta get you know, follow after godly men, all right? You know, that's why it's a, it's an order to this thing, all right? You know, but jumping back to 35, it says, Be willing to hear every godly discourse and let not the parables of understanding escape thee, all right? We can't let the parables of understanding escape us, all right? We got to stay, you know, diligent, you know, in this thing, man, okay? Um, Let me get Psalm 78 here, then I'm going to get into to uh some more scriptures here mainly some uh, uh i'll just get well well let's, let's see what the spirit spirit of spirit permits all right this is psalm 78 and verse uh let me get in on the phone psalm 78 and verse 2 I start at the top, Psalm 78 and 1. It says, Give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. Alright, so because keeping the law, that's that's the first step to understanding par to understanding parables. Alright, understanding these scriptures. Why? Because by you uh keeping the law to your best of your ability, you're gaining wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Okay, and that's what Christians don't understand. All right, you know they think, you know they think you can just open up the scriptures and be able to understand, man. Okay, it's, it doesn't work like that. All right, um, let me get Proverbs real quick. It says the fear of the Lord is the beginning. Proverbs one and seven. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. All right, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, man. Keeping these laws, touching his commandments. Okay, let me jump back to the 78, Psalm 78, verse, verse 1. It says, give ear, O my people, to my law. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old. All right, and that's how Yahweh Shai got down. All right, quoting the Old Testament. All right. You know, going back to the law. All right. You know why? Because the law, the law has not been done away with. All right. You know, Yahweh Shah was, uh, he was speaking dark sayings, man. All right. He didn't speak to everybody, you know, plainly. All right. Why? Because it was only for the elect. All right. This is Matthew chapter 13. And I'll start at verse 9. 
Well, let me start at the top. Uh, Matthew 13 and 1 says, The same day went Yahweh Shai out of the house and sat and sat by the seaside. And great multitudes were gathered were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow, and when he and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside. And when you go, when you read further into this chapter, all right, when it says uh, those seeds that fell by the wayside, all right, that's that's um. Let me just uh, jump down to nineteen and get that understanding real quick. It says when when anyone here. Uh, let me start at 18. Hear ye the par therefore the parable of the sower. When any one hear of the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received seed by the wayside. Alright. So that was the waste that was that seed by the wayside. Alright. Um Yeah, verse 4, it says, Matthew 13 and 4. I'm going to just read. I'm going to just keep reading. All right, you can, re you can read the whole chapter and get the understanding of the parables. All right, but let me just read through here. Uh, verse 4, Matthew 13 and 4. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth and when the sun was up they were scorched and because they had no root they withered away and some fell among thorns and the thorns sprung up and choked them but other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit some a hundredfold some sixty and some thirty all right you know and that's the elect being sown among good ground man all right and and these are this is a this is just one example of a parable man all right it says verse 9 he it says verse 9 salakia who have ears to hear let him hear and the disciples came and said unto him why speakest thou unto them in parables he answered yahweh shot he answered and said unto them because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven but to them it is not given all right you know so it's important to, to have the understanding of the parables man all right because if you understand the parables you know if you stay diligent in this thing it's a good chance you're a part of the elect man all right because not many people can understand parables of the scriptures man all right you know, the Lord utters dark sayings, man. All right. And a prudent, you know, are going to understand it. All right. The elect is going to understand these scriptures. All right. And. Um, let me keep reading. Verse 12 says, for whosoever hath to him shall be given and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever have not for him shall be taken away even that he have. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seeing not, and they hearing not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which is Isaiah, which said, By hearing ye shall hear. By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive, man. All right, that's the same thing that goes on today. All right, we're out there telling these people we're breaking it down. All right, you know, you know, and they still can't understand, man. They hear, but they, but they, they don't have the spiritual ears to hear, man. All right, you know. Verse fifteen it says, "For this people's heart is waxed gross." And their ears are, are dull of hearing, and their eyes that and their eyes 
they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart, their mind, and should be converted and I shall heal them. All right. You got to have, you know, that eye salve as spoken over in Revelations, man. So you can be able to see. All right. It says verse 16, but blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. All right. I'm just read down to 30 to 23. It says, verse 17, For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. All right? You know, the apostles go into all the time, you know, you know, because the prophets of old, when they were seeing these visions, all right, you know, they didn't understand. All right? But now we have that understanding, man. Why? Because, like it says in the book of Daniel, the time is sealed up uh, until the end. All right, and we are at the, we are at the end. Okay, verse eighteen says, "Hear ye, therefore, the parable of the sower." All right, so the Lord is going to break down this parable that was spoken of earlier in the chapter. It says, "When ye hear, when Salakia, it says, when anyone heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and catches." Catches and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. That this is he which will receive seed by the wayside. We see that all the time, man. At camp, all right. People may not understand. You know, they trying to get the understanding. Then some devil come out of nowhere and cause confusion. You know, we deal with that devil. Get that devil out of here. Next thing you know, that person that was just standing there is gone. You know. Hey, but that's that's. That's the will of the Lord, man. Man's goings of of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, verse twenty. But he that receiveth the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word and and on with joy receiveth it, yet hath he no root in himself. All right, not grounded, but dure for a while, for when tribulation or persecution or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. You know. You know, whatever the case may be, family members, all right, you know, Esau cracking down on you, all right, the FBI in your ass, okay, you get thrown into jail, all right, whatever the case may be, all right, persecution, you know, or uh, it says persecution or tribulation arises because of the word, then you then, then you fall out, man, all right, offended, okay. Can't take can't take the chastising of Yahweh by Shimei Alright, verse 22 says, He also that receiveth seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the care of, of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unfruitful. Alright, we see that all the time as well. Alright, you know, Jake, Jake, Jake too caught up in the world, man. Alright, can't let go of the things of this world. Alright. Verse 23, but he that receiveth seed into the good grounds is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some in hundreds, some sixty, and some thirty. All right. You know, and that's and that was and the Lord gonna get to another parable, man. All right, you know. See, these are, are parables, dark sayings, all right, you know, you know, but it's plain unto the holy and it's a stumbling block unto the wicked, all right, you even got the dark sayings and revelations, all right, the dark sayings and songs of Solomon, all right, the scriptures is full of dark sayings, man, okay, you know, and you got to remember the Lord, uh, Yahweh. He's ancient of days, man. So his language is going to be ancient. You know, even with the scriptures, even though it's, it's written in English, it's still what? Old English. All right. You know, the Lord is, he's the ancient of days, man. All right. So everything is going to be, uh, his sayings are, are, are dark sayings, sayings of old. All right. You know, only that, you know, uh, the men of renown is going to know, man. All right, and, and through the spirit and power of Yahweh, you know, we are those uh, 
men of renown, man. All right. And uh, let me see that here. You know, Lord willing, we we are of that of that elect, man. All right. And let me close with one more scripture here. All right, uh, Matthew nine. I believe it's Matthew 9. Car. This is Matthew 9 and 16. It says, No man putteth a piece of new cloth unto an old garment, for that which is put in to fill it up taketh from the garment, and the rent is made worse. Neither do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish. But they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. All right, you know, this is new wine, man. All right, this is this is new this is new understanding to us, man. All right, but it's really um it's really the understanding of old. All right. Um, I know I said I was going to close with that. But I'll close with this. Psalms 49. And starting at verse 3. Psalms 49 and 3. It says, My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. I will incline my ear to a parable. I will, I will open my dark sayings upon the heart. Uh, that's not the one I want to, you know, but that's, that's how the Lord gets down, man. All right. You know, even we, even how we speak, you know, we speak in, in dark parables to these people, man. All right. Because we're speaking the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. This is the one I want to continue in the Psalm 78, Psalm 78 and, uh, in verse 2, it says, I will open my mouth in a dark parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. All right? See, it, 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 it just took the Holy Spirit, all right, the spirit of remembrance, all right, for us to remember, huh? All right? It says, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us, man. All right? We just had to be uh, tapped back into the spirit. All right? It says... Verse four, we will not hide them from their children, showing to the generations to come, showing to the generation to come the praises of Yahweh Hashem Shah and his strength and his wonderful works that he have done. Okay. Hey, the Lord, the Lord kept his promise, man. You know, he revealed these secrets unto us, man. You know, again. All right, because we had this understanding before, okay, but the uh, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Remembrance, came back upon us, man. All right, to understand these parables, all right, because the Scriptures is written in parables. Colossians one and twenty six, the mystery which has been hidden from generations and generations is now made manifest to the saints, all right, and the saints are the Israelites, all right, according to Psalms fifty five, man, all right, as well as uh, Psalms one forty eight. Okay, so with that, I'm going to say Shalom and a Baba Ball Shalom.